Okay, y'all, I don't really have time to do no intro video today. Uh, we got a lot going on. Uh, everybody's at work today. Uh, yeah, we're, it's hot, man. Uh, it's, yeah, it's ugly out here, uh, down here where I'm at. So, uh, but yeah, uh, not a lot going on, man. Uh, Francisco's blowing this one off. We'll be done with, the, it's 12 o'clock, and we still got about four more to do. I mean, Zach's got two more to do. So, yeah. Okay, guys, let's, let's talk about trailers for a minute. So, y'all see this trailer right here? Nice looking trailer, ain't it? And, you know, heavy trailer, heavy duty, man, right? But what you got to look at when you're looking at trailers is you got to look at the axles. So these are these are 3,500 pound axles. Now, that's you got to don't fall into the illusion that that's enough uh, axle for that trailer. You, you're not going to be able to put a whole a whole lot of weight on it. It's a five lug, so those are two thirty to seven thousand pound capacity. But the damn trailer probably weighs three. You got the heavy duty ramp holder, nice layout. It just needs bigger axles on it. You need, uh, you know, uh, 5,000 pound axles. This needs to be a 10,000 pound trailer. There's no, I mean, for the amount of deck space on that trailer, if you put a vehicle up on there, uh, yeah, I mean, you probably could, but you're gonna be hitting the capacity pretty quick. Uh, and to get a trailer this size with 5,000 pound axles, you're only talking about a probably a two or three, um, well, maybe maybe a, a $500 difference in axles. So if the axles cost, uh, you know, $200, 3,500 pound axles, if they cost 250 bucks each, then the 5,000 pound axles will cost 500 bucks each, and it's well worth it. Because if you had 5,000 pound axles on here, you would never have to worry about nothing. This trailer's way too big, if you ask me. Now, what do I know? I got a disclaimer. This trailer's way too big uh, and, and nice to have 3,500 pound axles. But look, y'all, these trailer dealers, they'll sell you this crap. They will. Especially if it's a deal. If it's a deal, you gotta always, always, always look at the lugs. And to determine what size axles they are and weight capacity. Okay, y'all. So we got done with this one. So I've had a lot of guys ask me, you know, uh, about the twill tires, and most of you guys have been on the channel for a while. Y'all know I love the twill tires. So let's just look at the, these twill. The comparison on these twill tires. Okay, these twill tires right here have 25. I take that back. These have 2,300 hours on them. I want y'all to look. Not bad, not bad at all. 2,300 hours, okay? Picture that, snap you a picture right there. These twill tires right here have 15 hours on them. Do you see a big difference? I don't, I mean, 15 hours on these, About 2,300 on these. So, twill tires are a no-brainer. They are by far uh, worth it. Uh, they're expensive, but once you buy them, you never have to buy another set. Uh, if I sell this X more, I'll keep the twill tires for the next mower. If a, if a set of tires will last the life of the lawn mower, isn't that what you want? I mean. That's my thinking. So, instead of putting air tires on, uh, yeah, you can just let the dealer keep the air tires and they'll take about three or $400 off and go on and get twills. That's just my thinking, y'all. But uh, I gotta get back to it, peace out. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to uh, do a, just a little quick clip here of this trailer. I've had a couple guys come in the comments and well, one guy came in the comments the same. Well, he said, I'll put it up here in the video, but he said something to the effect like, 
And it don't make no sense to have all that equipment in a thousand dollar trailer. I guess because you see they're having problems with the ramp. I ain't really having problems with the ramp. Uh, nothing that uh, I didn't anticipate. And I'll put a clip from a video that I got when I first looked at this trailer. The first thing I said was, I hate this old candy stuff. I'm not that, uh, is that mine? Uh, well, I don't like the ramps. These ramps, that ramp is kind of flimsy if you ask me for a 10K trailer. This is only 7K here. This is not mine. He's pulling mine out right there. There's right here, right? But just, just, to, just to kind of let you guys know and let you know, whoever that guy was that said that in the video, this trailer right here is uh, well, much more than a thousand dollar trailer. Let me get that straight. It's seven foot by 16 foot. It has two 5,200 pound axles. That's not typical on a lawn trailer, just FYI, uh, just to say it. It's a special, it's a special edition trailer that I, well, I had to pay them extra to put these, these axles on this trailer. So in theory, this trailer could hold, well, it could, it holds just as much weight as the, as the dump trailer. It does. It probably weighs less than the dump trailer because the dump trailer is all metal, but it will hold just as much weight. That's a fact, same axles. So the Bobcat could go up on this trailer just to let you know you ain't gonna get a trailer like this for a thousand dollars, dog. You're not even close. So he was saying uh, that I need to put some plate steel on the ramp. Dude, nobody puts plate steel on a ramp, a landscape trailer ramp, okay? Nobody does that. That's, that, that sounds that sounds ignorant man i just want i mean i ain't calling you ignorant but i'm just saying that sounds like you don't know nothing about what yeah so um, here's a look at the axles ain't nothing a thousand dollars about this trailer the damn tongue costs a thousand dollars so uh yeah Nothing cheap about it. Just, I, I mean, I can't stand it when people come on there talking about, you know, a thousand dollar trailers. I take pride in buying top of the line shit, man. Top of the line. That's all. That's all I know, man. I don't know nothing else. So, top of the line. 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 So, okay, so enough of that right there, y'all. Y'all see what I'm saying. Anybody that knows anything about this. So what I'm going to try to do, y'all, and I, I'm going to move. I'm going to drill me another hole, like right here somewhere. We're going to move this thing down a little bit. Because, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to buy a whole piece of metal, okay, for the ramp. I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to do it tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm going to get to it this week. But so I got to go somewhere to buy the metal. Uh, we're probably just gonna make do with that with this right here for the rest of the week uh, and I just got it tacked down it's not anything uh, it's not yeah the big piece of metal there the now I would not put plate steel on that ramp you know and I'm not really concerned about the ramp bending you know this way I'm not really concerned about that uh, though this trailer will hold 10,000 pounds well it's right the axles are 5,200 pounds each so but the ramp is not you're not going to roll 10,000 pounds up this ramp for sure and like I was saying it's just uh, a, a whole nother well it's a whole nother deal when you got these axles I, I was tired of the 30 3,500 pound axles I'll never buy another trailer, and I said never, and I never say never, but I will say never now. I now never, never buy another 3,500 pan, a 3,500 tandem axle trailer. Never again. I'm done with that. Any trailer I buy moving forward is gonna have 5,500 pound axles. 